Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this series, we are going to work on Lab 04, Implement Virtual Networking Student Lab Manual. So in this series, I have, a, in this task, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 different tasks. Now all of these uh, labs that are available on GitHub from Microsoft Learning, and I want to post the link to the video if you want to follow along or get some more details. Now one thing I really like about this task uh, that they have done, they have really created an architecture diagram and I really didn't talk about this too much in the previous three series like when I did from identity to say administration because those architecture diagram was not very important. Well, they were important, there was nothing much to explain. Starting at module four, virtual networking. This networking diagram actually very important for everyone to understand. So it's if you look at it, task one and two, you're gonna create and uh, you know and a resource group and in this resource group you're gonna put a virtual network okay you're gonna create some address space you are going to keep some keeps all right so what do you see we're gonna create the subnets and inside the subnets we're gonna place some virtual machines we're also gonna create some network interface card that actually gets created at the time of deployment we will create private IP address and also public IP addresses and then we will create a network security group that will work like a firewall and we will apply this network security group to this virtual network. Then we're going to configure a private DNS zone where these VMs within a subnet they can talk to each other and they can use their fully qualified domain name Okay, and they don't have to use the IP address anymore. And at the very end, we'll create a DNS zone, which is a public DNS zone for external name resolution. So let's just get started with the first task. Okay, so the first task is pretty simple. Create and configure a virtual network. I'm already logged into the right-hand side, my Azure portal. And over here, what once you log in you need to just search for virtual networks and i usually use this bar okay, and then search for the virtual networks and always use the regular one do not go with the classic unless you have a very specific need and you know what you're doing so i'm going to go with the virtual network over here i want to click on create just like this and we're going to use the naming convention used in this lab so we're going to create a new resource group and the name of the resource for the virtual network, we're going to use that one. And we are going to stick to East US. I like East US. <clears throat> so in the virtual network, if you click IP addressing, so here let's use an IP address range. Okay, so let's just delete that one, which is default 10 0 0 0 16. Let's just delete that one. And then and you see, you, you have to create some IP address range. So here, let's just put it there. The new IP address space that is provided in the lab, 10.40.00 slash 20. And the next thing that we want, we want to create a subnet. You also need a subnet, okay? And we're going to call the subnet, the subnet zero as per the lab convention. And then, from the slash 20 we're going to break that network and get a slash 24 subset of these ips okay and use that one as our subnet for this particular subnet so there's still going to be a whole bunch of ips that we can we can uh, use at a later point of time now here uh, they have not asked us to create a net gateway so uh, not going to change anything here services service endpoints we're going to cover in another video uh in this one this lab we are not configuring this one either so just say add so now see your red marks all of them are are they are they are gone away now what we need to do and it says it's the provisioning should be less than a minute so we're gonna click on review and create and to usually go through a validation now it says hey validation you, you have some information missing okay so and you see the red dot 
so that really tells you in which tab you have the information that is missing so let's just go back in here so it says resource group somehow we missed the resource group so over here let's just go back pick up the resource group name again uh put it there most likely we probably didn't put the ok button when i did that at the beginning so now it's good so let's go to the ip address one more time looks everything looks good then you can go through the security but we are not configuring this we are also not configuring tags so review and create this time is again going through the validation it says the validation passed so now i can hit on create and that should give me the ip uh, the virtual network okay so let's see okay this is done you see the resource now the deployment is completed your deployment is complete so now it says hey click go to resource so let's just click on that one on the az 10404 vnet1 so this is the one and it says virtual network so we are on the resource click on subnet okay so over down here you have the subnet and it should show you the subnet that we have already created as part of the deployment now what we're going to do we're going to create another subnet subnet one so you just come over here and click on the subnet let's pick up the name from here put that name and this time we're going to use 10410 and then 24 if you look at it automatically picked up as a next suggested range and another thing to remember every time you create a subnet you lose five ip addresses for azure okay when you are doing and you have a lot of subnets keep that in mind the more you divide more number of ips you lose again over here we are uh, not configuring anything everything else still the same and over here you can just say save okay now it's just adding subnet and that's about it so now what we have done we have created a virtual network in this virtual network we have one address space and we have created two subnets each subnet can contain 251 ip addresses because five of them are reserved for the azure's own use okay that's the end of my task one so let's come back in the next video where we're going to show start with the task two where we're going to deploy our virtual machines into this virtual network Thank you for watching.